H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. There is no null values. If you observe, there is no null values. Just now I, I, I did that one. Just now see. Yeah, you know, I just wanted to make sure that only the null values are changed. So yeah, it, I can only see the null value got changed. Yeah, null value got changed. That's what uh, we have to do. Okay, basically, currently we are doing only, just we are handling the null values. I mean, categorical variable. Okay, previously mm -hmm. what we have, we will impute with? Mean. Mean. But currently, what we have, what we are doing exactly? We just, here, but we just defaulted with one of the character variable for now. You can, you can do in different ways. This is a basic way to uh, to replace that particular variable into uh, what you call it as a particular particular value. Suppose if you have a same type, I mean uh, data manipulate. If you if you want to do this one. Just we will okay. do common common thing is just suppose you know I think you have all I think you have knowledge and data set so just we'll we'll do simple uh, mostly most common type suppose if you having location is any any in your data set so you know already most of the locations are from Google Hills then just we'll impute uh, locations okay okay and uh, we'll, I will show you one more thing. Uh, it is also in the I mean same way I will tell you. value counts is there I mean I will give you assignment basically we do we have a value counts function is there in pandas okay value okay. counts what is the use of value counts please read and tell me okay value counts just note down value counts value underscore counts okay okay by this one we can uh, do more it's more easy. I mean, not like this. No need to define like this. This is more easy. You can do by using that function. Uh, you can fill your uh, categorical variable, categorical data. Okay. Okay. Value. Just remember that one. Value counts. Okay. Please. Okay. Re so this is fine. Absolutely, this is fill and yet attached is okay. No problem. Any no problem. Okay. Huh. Any doubts? No, I'm good. Okay. Basically, already we mentioned uh, some of the algorithms uh, will take only numerical data, not categorical data. I mean, some of the algorithms like decision tree, it will take, oh. but uh, some of the algorithms will not take uh, numerical categorical data. So, at the time, what we have to do? We, we need to categorize the categorical data with uh, some numerical values. With some numerical values, I mean that is fine. Suppose my question is, uh, if if you want to do like that, uh, then how can you remember that one? I mean, uh, what you call? Uh, suppose we have a data. Suppose. Uh, Location is there. I have 2000 locations. If you replace 1, 2, 3, 4, how can I understand what is the location of 560? That is fine. What, about what you're saying is okay. That is absolutely, I, I don't have any issues. But please tell me my question. I mean, my sick, my problem. Suppose in house price selling, location is the field, but uh, it will. It have more than thousand locations. You know, I think it's in suppose I want to predict in a state. In the state, we have a number of cities. So, how can we achieve that one? No idea, Samesh. No idea. Just think, think. Already we discussed this one. Already uh, in pre-processing steps, I mentioned this also. Just remember, we just that's that's why that's why I'm why I'm asking the questions to you. Already some words I gave you some information. That's why I will ask. 
so think think simple very very easy one easy one means don't worry about thinking the in separate man different manner currently you have this one now so how can we do mm, i'm not able to yeah okay and one more thing uh, if you want to print data dot info it will give all the complete data frame information already had seen good oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. see this one i saw you had seen yeah yeah yeah, yeah that, this is also one one thing i mean uh, we should remember basically some people will uh, i mean these are the some techniques basically these are some functions we can discuss but some functions we can't discuss currently because we uh, depends upon situation we'll uh, do something suppose if i do what will happen data dot head what what happened exactly tell me if i put data dot head uh -huh. see, see see don't worry it's just it's... no no i'm trying to see like uh... yeah. Just trying to show the header. Showing header, yeah. but no records, na? Yeah. One sixty. Yeah. One showing fifth. Mainly, it is showing for header, but it is also showing uh, five. Uh... Exactly. If you say head, it will show top five. Okay, first okay. five. Top five. First Feel. five. Is same way. Last five. Okay. Okay. We can define something inside the bracket to. Uh, uh, you can pass your how many you want to. Suppose if I write head up, okay, two. Oh. Then two records will come. If you oh, explicitly to, I mean, suppose simple, I have one lakh records. If I say head, only five records will come. So that is not a good, good one. So if I want to show twenty records, how it looks like. So then I will do twenty. Okay. okay. So now here, see, previously we removed null values. Okay, previously we removed null values. Mm -hmm. So you already so we 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 have I think we'll garage type is there now. Garage type mm -hmm. already, already having do, don't have any null values currently. Am I correct? Correct. Garage. So now I want to convert garage type into numerical value. Okay. Basically we but every everything into uh, everything every null value into normal value but just for uh, understanding just a convert only garage type so now i want to come i want to convert garage type values into numerical values that is my intention okay so how okay. to convert you see data of garage type just copy time okay equal to Of garage type, okay. Dot and uh, this is also some boards difficult. I don't want to tell this one, no need to this one. We have a we have a scale learn package is there okay a scale mm -hmm. okay by using a scale learn we have a, we can do pre processing steps by using just we have to import i will write one more step i will remove this one just import okay import scale learn scale learn is the package scale learn dot pre processing in Excel, we have different, different. Just we will import only pre processing mm -hmm. function. Pre processing from pre processing, just I am importing, you know, from SKL, just not import from SKL. You know, I think already from what is from, yeah, yeah, from 
from f so just i'm import only label encoder okay label encoder okay just i imported label encoder from scalar dot reprocessing i didn't import anything just i import label encoder okay got mm. no fine any questions no no i'm fine fine okay now just i will do one thing data of garage type before that i have to define variable and code no? so just i will define like that'll be equal to label encoder now i will write lb dot fit see any issues or anything you will see now now i want to print okay just i run one thing i will explain what is this now i want to print data of garage type what happened yeah it all converted into numbers yes now we discussed in a you you mentioned on one thing you did already you uh, you said one thing to me uh, just i will convert uh, each variable as one two three four five something like that correct okay yeah. so in the same way previously i think previous judges there are not i don't know here uh, i think here not there do i will do one thing okay okay so here one two three four five six mostly six types are coming so in that way attached is there something is there na those mm, converted... yeah in, in the variable has been converted into numbers numbers basically this is one type you, if you have a gender male female that means one two is enough am i correct if you have yeah. a gender column male or female one two columns are enough if you have an uh, suppose like uh, sometimes uh, what do you call it uh, uh, type uh, true or false something like that we have like this if you have 10 types or 20 15 max we can convert like this for your understanding but my question is why i am saying for locations just mm -hmm. this particular location location having you know already location having number of locations are available i mean nearly one lakh suppose i'm thinking about that one lakh or fifteen thousand or twenty thousand records are there so if i convert like this maybe understanding of that maybe it, it will give good results for fifth to fifth location is means something is there it will give good results but if i want to okay if i want to convert uh, like that like this maybe it is difficult to understand which type i mean which number is belongs to which location am i correct or not correct yeah think that one how can we manage okay i i will tell you how can we manage tell me think how can we, we can manage? we can try to channel you told us like earlier like uh, if it is given city we can try to make it a bigger block like we can convert it into states okay so that the differences goes no tell me clearly okay you are coming to near just tell me clearly okay so basically uh, like if it is like a uh, multiple cities are given 10000 11000 so we can make it in a uh, we can make it a bro broader area so we can convert into states 
okay rather than the city we can convert it to states and then put it there so that will automatically so states also calculable na hmm then but if i if i do if i did like the converting states not converting states if i did like that what happen it will suppose in andhra pradesh suppose in telangana we have a better city is there poor city is there generally in telangana or any state maybe there is a good suppose you are from maybe you are from which state i am from up up in up you know i think there is a i mean posh city is there hmm. in the same we have any i think less prices houses in city is there so in that way how is it possible mm, yeah. my question is uh, it will i mean that is okay almost good but for this problem is it possible no so that's why my, my that is my question this is not possible because it location is playing key role here location is playing key role in this if you say like that that is okay suppose if i want to country we have na suppose country is there then country we can convert one zeros no problem because country is having i think i have more most 10 countries data so 10 countries is a good one so okay i can not one two three five like that okay got it not able to what else we can do that's basically you are in good position basically in pandas you people are in good position so you can think now so everything don't listen from my side just you can analyze that one then will you have good hmm. oh, I'm, i'm not getting anything at the moment so much i have to do search I will, I will, actually i will uh, Uh, tell you the concept just tell me already we discussed or not we have one hot encoding concept is there that one hot encoding will do like uh, already we mentioned now suppose we have an cities suppose i will mm-hmm. open to, suppose suppose i have an cities like i have thousand cities is there okay thousand mm-hmm. cities but thousand cities i what i said uh, in previously the city column will be city is the one column then okay okay suppose you have an uh, hyderabad suppose hyderabad will create one column here hyderabad bangalore okay here the record will belongs to hyderabad then it will be one remaining will be zero okay okay yeah, 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 you told uh, like uh, decision tree, like uh, binary conversion binary conversion exactly this okay. is the one hot encoding in in, in uh, data science or pandas we call it as a one hot encoding just remember the board okay one hot okay. by using one hot encoding what we can do suppose if you have but the drawback is for one hot encoding the drawback is features will be high you understand hmm. currently currently see currently i will show you currently we have how many columns in data just i will print data wait data dot see how many columns we have 81 so it is okay even null values will remove that is different story that even that is fine but if i can if i do in hard hard coding features will be high why because 81 i mean suppose if i want to convert this uh, garage type is there garage type having six types so the six types will be converted as six columns okay 1 0 1 in the same way it will come okay. okay so if you say there are 5 5000 different cities then it will be like 5000 columns 5000 different columns yeah, exactly that is the issue okay mm-hmm. that is the issue with the one hot encoding otherwise uh, we can do normal that is not a problem okay any questions okay. till now no for not so look good not good no i am good good <laughs> is saying not good means what happened no no i am okay. saying no, uh, i am good at the moment okay you are good at the moment good fine so this is about some basic part in pandas 
remaining part will discuss in direct in algorithms okay remaining okay. part will discuss directly into algorithms this is the basic part just a simple cleaning cleaning in the sense we already know how to impute and uh, how to remove if we have a null values okay okay all those things so we'll discuss still we need to discuss some more points but i want to discuss in directly into machine learning algorithms not here i will show you directly there how to basically we have to remove some outliers also so how to, what is outlier we'll do we'll see in plotting basically we have visualization things is there so we'll see there so that's why i just parking as a so what is numpy numpy is another package another package okay Mm, tell me, tell me. You can tell me. I am doing this one. You can tell me. NumPy is another package. Okay. What is NumPy? Package. It's a package. Already we know. But what is NumPy? NumPy is. I I don't have idea on that one. Okay. Okay. Then simple. NumPy is a Python library used for working with arrays. Okay, for okay. arrays, it also have a functions to work on linear algebra and Fourier transforms and matrices. So you know, I think Fourier transforms. I think you know, you know, I don't, I don't know, but so we have some mathematics concepts are there. So in 2005, basically NumPy was created. But why we have to use NumPy? Because in python basically we don't have arrays concept am i correct or not uh yes we have a list we don't have, yeah we have list we have, but not the array concept yeah we have, but compared to that one i mean basically lists are very slow in nature by using numpy actually numpy aims to provide an array object that is up to 50 times faster than traditional python lists okay, okay. Uh -huh we call it as an the array object in numpy is called nd array okay it provides a lot of supporting functions that make working with nd array very easy okay okay, okay. basically mostly arrays are very frequently used in data science mm -hmm. okay but if you want to use then it should be very fast so that's why numpy is faster than list okay okay basically which language is numpy written which language basically c language hey, what c language yeah hey sumesh hi prashant hey sorry sorry guys i'm late i just finished i was on client call actually my laptop got crashed today and i have some deliverables <laughs> okay now <sighs> prashant will uh, explain you i mean class prashant please explain what we discussed just now completely i mean what we discussed with this one just i opened numpy right when i joined you guys were discussing yeah, numpy okay. before numpy we discussed something important parts manish well take care you are the faculty currently okay now. So we started with the uh, like yesterday question, which is like if you have to in the categorical data, if you want to fill the null value with uh, another uh, defaulted category data. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So for that, we can use fill and like uh, you see the line number 36. OK, so we basically we can go and do fill and uh, uh, and then in bracket you can give sorry for the 14 one. Fill and then in bracket you can give the in in quotes you can give the default value which you want to fill the na na value. Correct. So if you, okay. if you do that, that it will be uh, it, it will work. Okay. Then okay. we also were like um, we are also looking for uh, uh, for like if you have to convert. Generally there are a lot of algorithms which only uses the numerical data. Uh -huh. Okay. 
so in that case like categorical data need to be converted in numerical data uh -huh. okay right. so to do that like uh, uh, like we have a package in sql uh, sql learn okay so it okay okay, okay. so uh -huh. that's what we that's what we were discussing to like okay. we can import that sql learn and uh, uh, and here we are only using the label encoder and uh, then we do like Converting. label encoder and then we are converting garage type uh, uh, from there lb dot fit transform which this will automatically convert the garage type into uh, number so if you go a little bit down okay so best can you uh, scroll down so if you see here like after calling that command we will have this garage type converted into number so like if you see there were six different type of uh, values so it converted into six different different values okay okay then similarly we have like uh, one hard coded uh, method uh, to convert into numerical data which is basically uh, whatever we uh, was discussed earlier in the pre processing segment okay so when we are doing pre processing segment we convert we we discussed a point about like decision tree where we can convert the data into uh, binary form okay binary conversion okay so that's what in uh, uh, that's what is called in python as a one one hard coded method where you can put uh, like like for each city is local if you have the city is correct so like there will be ten uh, thousands of cities so you cannot convert the numbers and it will be difficult to understand so generally like they do a hard coded method so each city will be given number one and rest of them will be given zero 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 so like that we can do that conversion but the issue with that drawback of that conversion is it will increase the total number of your columns okay total number of features so basically hydra uh, like let's say you have one city hyderabad you have one city varanasi okay all these cities will become one one features okay right. so that's okay. why the number of columns increases so like there will be like by using that one hard coded method always the feature count will increase will increase okay 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 i think that's all we have done and then we come to the numpy Okay, okay. numpy we were discussing about like what is numpy it it gives you flexibility to utilize the array in numpy the arrays are called nd arrays and it is coded in c language and that's where we stopped did yeah. i cover everything somesh super, super manish you covered all okay, thank things. you thanks manish okay prashant this is like a recap for you okay? yeah 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 which anyways I, I will go through recording one more time so double yeah, recap no problem but if you have any question please ask me sure. but anyhow manish explained very well i mean clearly what we discussed okay so right. numpy uh, tell me prashant what do you know about numpy numpy you know numerical python many numerical formulas uh, are, are there into that numpy library so we can utilize numpy for many mathematical or arithmetic operations Exactly, exactly. Mathematical operations we can perform with NumPy. Basically, all the same thing. You already discussed pandas. If you don't have, if you are not using any Jupyter notebook or something like that, uh, you should install pandas as a pip install pandas depending upon your OS. That is different story. So in the same way, if you don't have NumPy in your uh, system, I mean in your system, already you are using Anconda, so no problem. By default, it will come. If you don't have, just you have to install pip, pip install NumPy. Okay. Why am Why am saying this one? In future, maybe you are you are using not. I mean, maybe in future you people will not use Anaconda. Maybe you people will use normal. So at the time, you should you know how to install a package. So by using install space number. Okay. So port pandas as pd. So numpy. Np. We can say yeah. That's the standard. Np. That's it. So now I I imported NumPy package. Okay, 